Hello everyone, this is Law Corridor and today I'm bringing you guys a guide on how to counter this beast of a character, the Joker. Now Joker is a rushdown character, great damage, great movement, great range, but he does have its own weaknesses. Now first we're going to talk about the basic moves, but then we're going to go over the six rules on how you implement these and you, it, it will, trust me, it will make the matchup against this monster much easier. The first three, I'll go over them shortly, is zoning in keep away style, taking throws, and avoiding corner. But we will get into that later and the other three rules. First of all, we're gonna start off with the basic moves. Now before we start, be sure to subscribe to Dash Fight and also check out their website for all things FGC related. They're awesome. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so first is the basic moves. I'll go over them shortly. First is the one to one Last it is a high. You can duck and KB that shit down too. But if you block it, it's minus two. Then we have one, two, three, which is safe, minus six. Um, then we have four, one, four. Uh, six frame pokes will punish it. It's minus seven, basically safe. Four, one, four, two. It's also safe with pushback. Last it is a low. Be careful. Then we have 2 1 3. Not a lot of characters can punish it. I know Sub Zero Slide can punish it and some other stuff. Not, not a lot of characters can punish. But 2 1 4. Um, most of re reversals can punish it. It's minus 19. Then we have the 4 2 1, which is safe. Minus 5. But 4 2 1 2. Some characters can punish it. Cool Sword 1, Noob Cyber, Joker. You have to see. And also, um, this ring, the last hit, you can false block it. And also there's Batsy PP ability. It's actually pretty easy to punish. I see a lot of people just holding this. What you need to do is your first jump, you jump over the first two bullets. You see? Your, fir your first jump, you jump over the first two bullets. Then it's just like, you jump over. Another important thing with Batsy PP is I see a lot of people holding this while it's completely fake you can jump over it and completely punish it also with 4 2 1 it's the same the only string that actually is true is 2 1 you have to hold that but you can still force block it another thing is joker's back for one if you just duck it a lot of characters can punish it and uh, i mean fujin gets a very optimal punishment back too but flying kick dash punch all if you just neutral duck it you can also punish it Another thing is the jumping just set up in the corner. You can dash up and down to it and as you can see I jump faster so meaning I'm more plus as well. So you win the trade but if the spacing is right you can't really do it but it's just something to have in mind. You can obviously go for a false block as well as you can see it's not possible if the spacing is right. This is only possible if done with the 2-1 uh, up close. Also, it's a hard read because they could go for the back forward amp and it's completely real. You cannot do anything in that situation. You just have to hold the pressure. Then we have the Kapow ability, which is minus 20. A lot of characters can punish it. I mean, Robocop can't, but I know a lot of characters can punish it. Please punish this because that means they're not hit confirming and you have to punish them for this. And then we have the Boeing. And Boeing, it's, it depends on your character, what your character has. I mean, down -turning it isn't always reliable, but if your character has a good anti-air, then be sure to go for it. A good option is going for a jump with good horizontal range. Let's say the jump one, jump two, it depends on your character. It's, it's also good to air to air this move. All right, so now let's talk about Joker's fail blow. When Joker's fail blow is on cooldown and he grabs you, it KBs for 30%. Now the problem is he can special cancel from 4 to 1 4 let's say and it's plus so they can they can they have it's a 50 50 from 4 from 4 to 1 is also plus you cannot match out of it so it's a 50 50 but from 1 to 3 this is fake from back 3 string is also fake this is what makes joker so scary when he gets for his favorable which is something you have to be uh, aware of and kind of like try to put as much distance um as possible or try to kill him without giving him another chance spending your fatal blow spending your resources just don't don't give him a chance when he has fatal blow and also there is a good option uh, if you have your breakaway to hold north and why is that because if you duck 
it goes into um, Kapow and into unbreakable damage. But if you hold north, I will show you. You can react to getting hit and breaking the base. If they go into Kapow, you just uh, down 2 KB them. So it's good to keep in mind, if you're gonna have to make the read that they're gonna go for the grab, it's always better to hold north. So now let's talk about how we counter Joker. Now the most important thing is Jack in the box. Now how you counter that? There are different um, Jack in the boxes, okay? First off is the up close Jack in the box, this. This is minus 14. A a reversal, let's say bicycle, not bicycle, okay, flying kick, will punish that, as you can see here. Reversal punish, right? But if it doesn't get uh, popped immediately, it doesn't contact the enemy immediately, like let's say here, see, then it's zero, then it's neutral on block. This is the most important thing that you need to understand. And it's actually visually very easy to identify. Let's say like, for example, after four, two, three, you can see it immediately hit and it's a reversal punish. Uh, also, don't forget that that string you can deduct the last hit. They go for one to one. Um, so this is really important to find a character or find a way to be able to punish that. Now, if your character does not have a um, a reversal, fast reversal move, then your best option is to false block it. All right. So about the false blocking part, there are different um, kind of like um, scenarios. It's usually four one four. They go for back four four down four, especially which there is a good option say like for the down four. You just dash up. You either get the false uh, false block punished with a jab, or if you have a fast reversal, like let's say I'm a bit late, I get the reversal punish. Now that's important with the down four because they, I see a lot of Joker players abusing this. A good punish but there are different um, back 4-4s four like you say the 414 false block up to that now that's important with the 414 it's minus 10 on flawless block and not all jabs reach actually so you have to be uh, uh, careful with that one another thing is if they start delaying their back foot force to throw you throw off your false block timing or uh, anything you can start down towing as a response or you can just wait if your character has a fast reversal and just uh, punish it. Another thing is when Joker plays just the back 4-4M to get in on you and I see a lot of people just like trying to backdash, putting themselves in the corner and just like letting the Joker player get in. It's actually better to just dash up and block and it's much more um, plus for you rather than making it uh, making the Joker player get in easily. And um, it's also important that the recovery on that is very uh, high so you can kind of keep zoning them. All right, so now let's talk about the six rules that I mentioned. Um, I'll go about it in a freestyle type of way. First off is the um, zoning and keeping away with mixing it up in neutral. Uh, where does Joker want to play? He wants to play here. Standing two, forward two, forward one, no hurt box, down four. This is where Joker wants to play. He wants to abuse it with his highs and his movement just get in on you. Get great damage and um, kind of outspace you all the time. Resets neutral, keeps you guessing in neutral. So we don't want that because not a lot of characters can, can challenge um, Joker's highs. So what we want to do is just keep him away. A natural enemy to a rushdown character is obviously a zone, a, a zoner, a keep away type of uh, style. Just laming him out, letting the Joker player to get in on you and forcing the Joker player to play by your pace. That's when their movement in neutral, their buttons, everything, their decisions, whether if they go for a high or a mid, they become desperate and more predictable. That's what we want. We want the Joker player to get in. So we start, that's where we start mixing it up, punishing the highs and so on and so forth. So how you do that? Um, projectiles, just spamming projectiles, um, good pokes, getting in and out, just backdashing, being obnoxious, as obnoxious as you can. I mean, if they get close on you, just TPing out if you can. You just know the, the, the super lame style, basically. But what's important is to mix it up. I see a lot of... I'll, I'll give you guys a scenario. Joker player resists neutral, right? Oh, that whiff. And they still try to backdash. You, you will get put in this situation obviously because Joker will have said neutral. It's good to mix it up. You cannot always go for this. Sometimes you just want to challenge them. Mix it up. This is super important. Alright, so now we come to the second rule which is taking throws. Which is also important when, it come, when we're playing a zoning keep away style. Because a lot of people, the zoners, once you get him on you, they have no game style. They're like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? No, just take some throws. Why? Alright, I got grabbed. What happens? 
Look, look at the distance. Well, well I'm, I'm gonna start throwing projectiles again. That's the thing. Like, but let's say you get shimmied, then oh my god, look at this damage. Insane. You know, 30, 34%, something like that. You, we don't want that. Take the trolls. It's fine. You take the trolls. Um, you just gonna go back and to your limb side. It's much better than getting shimmied. Obviously, you will. If they just start grabbing, grabbing you, you start mixing it up, holding north, do you. But it's important for the most part, you want to take trolls because they get no troll key. Now the third rule is avoiding corner. Now I don't think I need to explain how obnoxious Joker is in the corner. Just everything, backward, forward, amp, everything. You just keeps in check all the time. We want to avoid corners for obvious reasons. Um, one good way is interactables. I want to emphasize that sometimes that it doesn't work, but it's something to keep in mind. It's good versus Joker to get out of the corner. If your character has something is I don't know, just yoink, then perfect. But um, be patient in the corner. If your Joker players put you in the corner, you have to respect the back forward for amp. It's important because it's so much strong. It can also convert into a full uh, combo. This is when um, you kind of be have to show your patience, show your good defense. Take some grabs, it's okay. Don't, yeah, it's not at the end of the world. Just be patient in the corner. And also another thing is a lot of uh, Joker players love to use the uh, throw the four. Uh, I'm sorry, standing two in the corner. It's a high, obviously, but uh, the second hit has some crushing, a high crushing as well. Sometimes it gets high crushed. So um, f find your best move to punish that high in the in the corner because a lot of people love throwing that in the corner. Okay, so the fourth rule is punishing highs. Now Joker players they love their highs, just love throwing it out in neutral all the time, forward two, standing two. But we don't want that. We want to punish it because if you just start blocking all all the time the highs, then you get overrun because they're super strong. I mean, forward two is 13 frame, four frame active. So there are some scenarios where they just like um, throw highs, for example, after they take down. It's weird to false block 4 too because it's 4 frame active and, two, uh, and it's on online if you're playing. Or uh, let's say you block they dash up and just there are some scenarios you, you notice some pattern. Most jokers have it, trust me. We all love <laughs> throwing out highs, so uh, punish them. If they get cocky with it, start punishing. Alright, so fifth is back forward four. We already talked about like how you punish it and etc. But there is a lot to this move. For example, I see a lot of Joker players dashing up and using it in neutral because they know they will trade. And um, it's hard to expect that. But if you see your opponent always doing that, kind of start getting the hang of it and punishing it as well. Because as we showed already, you can punish it. Uh, the, the recovery is really high. And um, another thing is sometimes it's uh, super plus and you cannot mash out of it. I see some people just trying to um, uh, get away out of that situation, just getting hurt. So understanding back forward for how you punish it, um, the types of it, and how you deal with it is very important. Alright, so now let's over the last rule. It's poking and punishing down for. Um, the poking is really important because if they try to always like dash up it's as you're zoning them out you just dash up and poke uh, poking really kind of keeps joker in check kind of like in neutral if you have good pokes be sure to use them it's, uh, it's quite annoying uh, for joker and um punishing down for some joker will just throw that around all the time and it's um good to punish with a jump now i wouldn't recommend jumping against joker uh all the time if your character isn't i don't know some maniac like uh, cabal or jade eric graves I would say jump mostly to punish the down for all right so now i want to talk about the characters that actually give joker a hard time starting off with spawn spawn can punish back for for the minus 14 one with standing three great damage um the movement he has it all he can play keep away gets in and out and he doesn't get out space he has great um range so spawn is really good then we have sub zero slide punishes almost everything two one string two one three two one four four two one two also down four alone like if they do down four alone or down four into jack in the box slide punishes reversal slide punishes both options so slide is just amazing against joker um and then we have uh, raiden raiden can just play where's raiden what the hell <laughs> raiden can just play super lame the entire game just playing uh, just um get in and out teleporting 
just like lame him out like basically then we have noob cyber which can play keep away and chip damage while taking um throws it's okay you can take throws with noob cyber and just like kind of play the long game basically and just like uh, always keep um joker away with the slide which is super annoying for joker in this matchup and if joker player starts jumping then you can easily just enter them but um it's a good matchup it's an easy matchup for noob to play then we have Jade. Jade is obviously also another good matchup against Joker because of the glow. The glow, uh, the Jack in the Box goes right through it, even the amp version. And Jade can also um, kind of play the zoning game. She has the uh, buttons to punish back for her as well. Back two punishes it, Nitro Kick punishes it. So Jade is also really good. Kitana is also okay because of the down four. Is down Kitana's down four is just amazing in this matchup, and she can also play like super lame, just back dashing and kind of a zone joker out, and she has good jump ins as well. So yeah, she she can play keep away, just like use your pokes and just try to more, play more keep away style with uh, Kitana, just zone joker out. Robocop as well can just like <laughs> zone the entire game, and he has also that um air move that um that he can use in the air to get out of the corner which is also pretty neat and um he can also just play super lame it's an okay matchup to play and then we have Cetrion. um Cetrion is Cetrion. i mean she has a type where she has zoning she can punish back forward for with um, uh, the wall and um great damage uh she, no not great damage she has, her damage is okay but it's more like um, great chip damage and um, yeah, you can play the matchup quite well. It's tough for Joker to get in basically. Then we have Fujin. Fujin is also another character which can run away the whole game with a uh, wind push which is much better in this matchup. Um, he can punish also back forward 4 with down back 4 which is the wind kick and yes, that's a, that was it. So we've reached the end of this guide, um, I'll just try to summarize everything, the 6 rules, don't forget them, try to make the joker player get in on you, play lame, make them to just always try to get in, try to play zone and keep away, take throws, um, they get no throw OP, okay. um, it's better than getting shimmied all the time, avoid corners, jokers are annoying menace in the corner, you don't want to be in the corner. If they get happy to, to just like throwing highs all the time, don't be afraid to uh, duck some highs in neutral and punish them. And poking is very good to kind of like uh, keep the movement in check playing against Joker. And the back four for just how you deal with it is also important. It's something that you have to lap. Thank you so much for watching. Also, you can check out all the things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description. If you like this video, please leave a like or comment below with your thoughts. And um, thanks for watching. This was your boy Law Corridor and um, see you next time.